Hey guys, there's fresh news coming out today. Uh, be sure to press like and subscribe about the dollar getting ready to drop possibly as much as 20%. Now we've already lost 11% since March alone, okay? Here in the Philippines, we've lost like 11%. If we lose another 20% of our buying power, that's gonna be 31% and plus the you know other inflation and everything else. Because when you're losing on the dollar, it's different than inflation because it's it's just like a, a, a difference between the currencies and stuff like that. So if if the dollar loses 20% of its buying power and then we have, we lose, like let's say food prices go up and stuff like that, we lose even more because we get less pesos, okay? So with less pesos, let's say we get 20% less pesos, that's a substantial knock in our pocket and I, I guess Citigroup and Al was one of the banks that was stating this and Al Jazeera is also reporting it and there's a few other news sources that are, are reporting this. And for us here in the Philippines that are retired, that's a major strike in our pocket. Not to say that it won't go back again, but I mean, let's ho hope and pray that this doesn't happen because our 20% loss in, in our buying power is huge even when you consider that, that rents are only like a hundred or two hundred dollars compared to the united states yeah you're still you're still cheaper than the united states but i mean with that flip on the exchange rate you know if we're getting let's say 40 this is an example for 40 pesos to one dollar that's that's substantial for me you know, I mean, when you go out to buy food or anything like that, I mean, and for people that are on the limited budgets now, that strikes them even worse because if you lose 30% of your buying power in, what, two years? A lot of these people would probably have to go back home and start working again or, or whatever. You know, it's, it's, it's a major strike for sure. But let's, let's just hope that it doesn't happen, but that's what the news is stating. They're saying because of the vaccines, it's gonna set up a, a um, you know, the perfect storm and it's going to be a macroeconomic issue or something like that and it's going to cause all this thing and they said that it's you know we're going to go into like kind of like a a downward trend for the dollar so it this will be like a worldwide thing it's not like you can move to another country and it's going to get better in most cases it's just that the dollar is going to go into like a downturn like it did like it had before i think about what a decade or two ago it, it did this before and we'll see what happens i'm hoping it doesn't happen but if it does happen i'd probably still stay here um unless it got really really bad um i'm thinking that things will probably change somewhere throughout there that maybe i don't know i think i think with some of the companies out there with the fintech and all this might change the way the dollar works um, I see the world changing financially. I'm kind of hoping that that kind of flips this and stops this, this trend of the dollar losing. And it could happen, but I mean, they're talking about throwing tons of stimulus money at us, which is great for a while when you get the check for $1,200. But later on, when you, know, when you go to spend your money, it's going to be worthless. So for you guys that are hoping for the stimulus, and, and in some regards, I'm, I'm hoping for it too. I'll be honest with you. But I mean, in the end, would I rather have it? No, probably not. Because in the end, it's gonna destroy the dollar. They're actually, in some places that there's, some news sources are saying they're talking about giving us actually more than $1,200, possibly as much as $2,400. So I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I'm hearing on some of the news sources that they might actually raise it because we've been in this this, this financial, you know, turmoil from the, from the virus and stuff for so, so long that you know, it's just a mess for a lot of people back home. They, they're, they're, they're in debt up to their ears. They, they need to get out of debt. They're behind on their rents, things like that. And I'm not sure what's worse, you know, losing your home or the country going into turmoil, to be honest with you, you know, in this case, it's, it's, it's definitely a mess for any president that's in there. And I'm not taking sides on any political side, but I mean, wow. I, I definitely feel like this year here is gonna be, is gonna tell us a lot. So 
I think we're gonna we're in for a, a tsunami of financial issues this year for sure. And I'm not sure if the stock market's gonna be taking hits and and all that. I hope not, you know, because I'm invested in the stock market. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to throw that out there. Just get some news out there about that. I'll, I'm gonna try to put the link down there in the comment section, so you'll see it in the comments. Okay. Um, I, I might, if I can put it in the description section, I'll put it in there too. Sometimes it just doesn't let, let me put it in there for some reason. But anyway, God bless guys. Take care. And I hope that helps a little bit, but wow, that's, if that's, if there's any truth to this story, it's, we're in for a real zinger of a year. Take care guys.